Hi everyone, this is Manju from Ayurhitam, here today to talk about wound care. Acharyas have given a beautiful way of taking care of wound. You know, anytime there is a manifestation of wound, it is a combination of two factors, the internal toxins that we carry and the external injury that happened. So the extent of manifestation depends upon combination of both of these. So it becomes extremely important to take care of both of them. First, let's take care of the internal toxins, right? What are the two elements that exacerbates a wound that is present? A heat element and mucosal element, water element. It is important to reduce both of them. So first, make sure that the spicy element, the spice in your food is reduced, the salt in your food is reduced, that way heat content is reduced. Then also reduce the sweet content in the body. When in the diet that you're taking, reduce the sweet content as well. So this will make sure that at least when you are recovering from a wound, you are not creating any excess of these elements. So put that in check first. Then when you're taking off, taking care of it externally, there are many decoctions that are told that you can cleanse the wound first or just cleanse the wound with rubbing alcohol if you do not have anything available at that point. It's okay to do that. After you cleanse that, make sure you put a lepa or a paste that will help with the healing that can have something called a neem oil if you are able to get hold of neem oil you can get that and you can uh, mix with honey honey is a very very good healer wound healer ghee is another very good wound healer and add a little bit of licorice powder if you are able to get some licorice powder you can add a little bit of licorice powder to that and a little bit of wheat make a paste out of all of this and some turmeric so all of these six make sure you take all of these make a good paste and apply it on the wound that you have after cleansing it and then kind of keep it not so much tight do not keep it very very tight because if it's tight then if there is no air circulation then internally the wound can grow again so do not Tie it very tight, just tie it very lightly and keep it. Make sure that it is not being poked by anything else. That's the reason you're tying it really. And then see the magic. Make sure that you're taking care of it internally and externally and see that you are able to heal much, much faster than you would have earlier. And this is the reason because of the excess toxins that we carry. This is the reason you see that some of us get better from wounds easily and some of us take a long time to get better from wounds and this holds true for bed sores this holds true for diabetic wounds so i welcome you to try this if at all you have to next time i hope you don't have to but if you ever have to try this and see the magic i hope that was helpful for you and let me know if you have any questions